Hi everyone, I'm Paige Abbott and this is your weekly recovery message on the topic of facing the past. We all have issues, memories, experiences from our past that are uncomfortable, painful, and that come with a whole bunch of different feelings. Sometimes our brains may convince us to ignore these memories and experiences, trying to tell us that that's a healthy way of coping. Sometimes our brain may try to drown us, fully immerse ourselves in the pain of these experiences from the past, neither of which are very healthy or helpful for the individual. More so what's important to do is to honor those feelings and those experiences when they're coming up and when we're being reminded of them. And if we're not being reminded of them, then to take some concentrated time in journaling, in reflection time, in therapy, in interactions with a close recovery support, such as a sponsor, to spend some time talking about the memories and experiences and to really try and connect with the feelings that are associated with those. If you're running into people in your current day-to-day -day life who are reminding you of people from your past, this may also trigger some strong memories, associations, and consequently, feelings. It may be tempting to say, well, I'll just avoid contact with that person and therefore I don't have to sit with this discomfort, but ultimately you're doing yourself a disservice to your healing. Obviously, this person is in front of you for a reason. They're meant to be a teacher to bring you back to some of those feelings and those experiences, but in a safer way, because you're not in the past, you're not in those previous experiences. You're in a new environment now, and hopefully with some new ways of coping, some new supports, and some different ways of taking care of yourself. So the importance of honoring these memories and these experiences when they come up is huge. If you are experiencing some memories or running into people who trigger memories and associations from your past, I would encourage you to take some time to just sit quietly with yourself and ask yourself how you're feeling. There may be a whole variety of different feelings that are coming up. This isn't about exploring how you felt in the past. It's about exploring how you're feeling today as these memories and these experiences are coming up. Then it's important to take some time to process and out these feelings. You can write about them. You can talk about them with close recovery supports and you can use other healthy ways of coping. So taking a little bit of time to sit in quiet reflection, meditation, and using your recovery tools, maybe incorporating them into your step work to really honor the messages that you're receiving from the past. We cannot shut the door on the past and we do need to honor when it's coming into the present and not fall back into unhealthy ways of coping like avoidance or having the disease drown you in the feelings. I hope that you will all honor your past. It is a part of what made you who you are today. And as much as it may be uncomfortable or painful, it is a part of your experience that's important to own and identify that that's a part of you, but not all of you, just like the disease of addiction. Thank you everyone for watching. I wish you the best in your ongoing journey of recovery. Bye for now.